there was a boy called Jack. And Jack's mother thought he was no good. He was lazy. He was a fool. And one morning, she kicked Jack out of the house. Go and get a day's work. And he went and he found work with a builder. And all day long, Jack was learning to build. And he did very well. He made a beautiful wall. And at the end of the day, the builder gave him a penny. Jack was happy. He walked towards his home, tossing the penny and catching it. And he came to a bridge. And as he walked over the bridge, he tossed the penny, but the penny fell in the river. And when he got home, he told his mother, you foolish boy, you should have put it in your pocket. The next day, she kicked Jack out of the house. And he went and found work with a dairy farmer, milking cows. All day long, he milked the cows. At the end of the day, the dairy farmer was very pleased. He gave Jack a jug of milk. Jack remembered his mother's words. You should have put it in your pocket. <laughs> so he took his pocket and he poured the milk in his pocket and walked home with the empty jug. And when he got home, his mother said, you foolish boy, you should have carried it on your head. The next day, she kicked Jack out of the house. And Jack, he went and he worked for the cheesemaker. And all day long, he was making delicious, mature cheese. And at the end of the day, the cheesemaker gave him a cheese. And Jack remembered his mother's words. Can you remember? You should have carried it on your head. Well, Jack put the cheese on his head, but it was a beautiful summer's day. And the sun was blazing down from the sky, and the cheese melted into his hair. And when he got home, his mother said, You foolish boy, you should have carried it in your hands. The next day she kicked Jack out of the house and Jack, he went and he worked for the cook in the kitchen in the big house. And every moment during the day he was slicing vegetables and cutting vegetables and he was looking after the cats that, cow that caught the rats in the kitchen. And at the end of the day, the cook took the big tomcat and gave it to Jack. And Jack remembered his mother's words. You should have carried it in your hands. So he picked up that wild cat in his hands and he started walking home. But the cat scratched and bit until Jack could hold it no longer. And he let go and the cat ran away. And when he got home, he told his mother, and you know what she said, you foolish boy, you should have tied it with string and pulled it home behind you. The next day, she kicked Jack out of the house. Jack went and worked for the butcher. All day long, he was chopping meat. He worked very hard. At the end of the day, the butcher was so pleased he gave Jack a whole side of lamb. Jack remembered his mother's words. You should have tied it with string and pulled it home behind you. Jack tied a piece of string around the side of lamb and pulled the lamb home behind him. It got covered in dust, completely ruined. And when he got home, his mother said, you foolish boy, you should have carried it across your shoulders. The next day, she kicked Jack out of the house. Jack, he went and worked for a merchant. 
Now the merchant was an important man. He was traveling on his horse from town to town, buying and selling. And Jack rode behind him on a donkey. Jack did very well, carrying and helping. And at the end of the day, the merchant gave him the donkey. And Jack remembered his mother's words. <laughs> You should have carried it across your shoulders. So Jack got down on his hands and knees underneath the donkey. And he lifted. But Jack was no longer a boy. After working so hard for a week, Jack had turned into a strong young man. And he lifted the donkey on his shoulders and started walking home towards his house. And now we are nearly at the end of the story. And already you can imagine how you think the story could finish. I'm going to give you a moment. Tell the person next to you, what do you think could be the ending of this story? There's no right answer, there's no wrong answer. Listen to each other. Maybe you'll find two different endings, or maybe you'll get one ending together. Listen to Izumi's ending. Mm. See if his ending is the same as your ending. Listen closely. Mm. When Jack came back to his home, uh, with carrying a donkey on his shoulder, her mother didn't say, you're a fish boy. She, she said, you're a very good boy. And you grow up a young man, a strong young man. She was really very, very happy. To and next day, Jack, Jack uh, went to the merchant uh, to back to uh, his car, <laughs> donkey. So they lived a very, very happy life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, when he came back to the house, the donkey get very naughty because he <laughs> He has been tied to the young man's shoulder. Mm -hmm. So he ran around, kicked around everything, and kicked his mother. <laughs> and he got hurt, and Jack uh, fight to the donkey and save his mother. And she said, uh, finally, she realized what she did to uh, her son mm -hmm. because she was. <laughs> uh, she said, oh, I'm sorry, I was bad, and you are a very good man. Mm -hmm. And they live uh, very happily. Mm -hmm. He was carrying the donkey on his shoulders through the streets towards his home. And as he came along the streets, he came past the house of a rich man. And this rich man had a daughter. And although his daughter was beautiful, she never smiled. She had never laughed in all her life. But as Jack staggered with the donkey on his shoulders past her window, she looked at him. And she had never seen anything so foolish in all her life. <laughs> and her lips curled up and she began to shake. And she began to smile and laugh until she was laughing so loudly that her father came running in. Now her father had decreed that whoever could make his daughter laugh could marry her and be his heir. And when he saw his daughter laughing and looked out the window and saw this foolish man, he took his daughter by the hand and they ran into the street and they stopped Jack. And Jack put the donkey down. And when they told him that he was to be the husband of this beautiful girl with such a lovely laugh and smile and inherit all that money. Jack was so happy. And when his mother found out, she couldn't believe it. And so Jack and his mother and the donkey and the beautiful rich girl lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> oh.